internet and welcome to another Ozarks tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how you can remove a background fast and easy. Once you get your image opened in GIMP, the first thing that you're going to want to do is come over here to the Layers tab and scroll down to where it says Add Alpha Channel. Once you got that done, then come to this little button here and push Duplicate. Now, we're, now that we're working on a duplicate, let's come over here to Colors, go to Desaturate, click Luminosity, and click OK. Go back to Colors, come to Brightness and Contrast, run the contrast all the way up, and then adjust the brightness until you get something that's almost completely black and white. That's what you're looking for click OK. Grab the pencil with a hard brush. Check the size. We don't want to paint with a small brush. That'd take too long. You can flip the black and white back and forth with those little arrows. And all we're going to do is block out the white or the black, whichever the case may be. You can scroll in by holding down Control and with the mouse wheel scroll or uh, zoom in I'm sorry uh, I'm gonna flip these colors now block out the black or the black from the white okay come over here do the same thing we'll zoom in to get the rest of that let's get the major block first control mouse wheel hold down the mouse wheel to move the screen and then here's kind of a neat little trick you hold the shift key and let up on the mouse uh, button It'd be the left mouse button and then it gives you a straight line from the crosshairs there so line up the outside of your brush wherever you want to start like right there is where I want to start and I want to end cutting into the elbow just a little bit right there I want to start right there. Oh, well, pretty well ended there. That's okay. Now I'm going to let off on that shift button for a minute and come up here. Click down, hold down shift, let up on the mouse button. Get lined up where I want to be. And then let's adjust that size way down here a little. Come in and clean up the rest. Just by hand. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now what we want to do, once we get to that stage, is come back up to the Colors tab and invert colors. Now we want to copy or Control C, copy that, turn off the visibility on that layer, go to your main layer, and then go up to Layer, Mask, add mask full white opacity and then just simply paste or control V now that you have a floating layer push anchor now you see that the checkered background stands for transparency you can come up here and right click and push new from visible now these two, you can right click and delete layer, right click and delete layer. Be sure when you save this that you either save it as a GIMP project here or export it as a PNG instead of a JPEG. Go ahead and push export and I'm not going to do that right now but go ahead and push export and the PNG will save the transparency. Then you can add a background or put this on a website and let the website be the background, however you choose. If we scroll in, you can see that the cut lines are pretty nice. They're not perfect, and they never will be, no matter what method that you use to cut these out with. Well, that's going to be everything for today. So. Be sure and hit that like button if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. 
Bye now.